time for another coffee and chat. Welcome to my world. <sighs> Excuse the hats. Uh, I just got a craving to wear hats at the moment, especially because it's cold. But I'm I'm gonna wear my woolly hat later. I can I can never seem to. Is it mm, camel? Is it me? It just never seems to get things level. Maybe it's my head's not level. It's worse than my glasses when I don't put them on straight. Okay, you get a wonky hat. There you go. You've got OCD. It's tough look. Okay. So what I'm going to chat about today, or if you listen to this on podcast or watch this on video, thank you. If you podcast, follow YouTube or whatever, subscribe, like, you know what to do. I also have Patreon as well, so you can follow me on Patreon and join me in whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, anyway, on the video, influencers. You have a love them or hate them, and some influencers are okay. They don't bullshit about the life, do they? They don't, you know, oh, I can't wear this hat. There you go. <laughs> the real me. Um, influencers. The, the few that I watch like Zoella and Alfie Days, they, they're genuine, they're genuine, they're okay, people don't like them because they're, they've got famous over the internet, YouTube stuff, you know, and Instagram, but they're living their life, the real life, and you see the good, and you now and again see the bad, but that's what it's all about, isn't it, I suppose, but when you get influencers who fucking bullshit about every single part of their life when the camera goes off they live a life like we do and when the camera comes on they're millionaires you know those are the influences that i can't stand because it gives a false impression to youngsters and stuff like that so my glasses don't look straight now <laughs> oh dear me it's just amazing my mind i think my mind's just warped uh, I'll tell you, my head is not straight. My head is level. Not, you know, that looks better, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> First thing I want, last thing I want to do on a video. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I have got Instagram and stuff like that, but I just don't post much on there. If I go out to Folkestone or whatever, I put a few photos on. And, yeah, that does me fine. I don't portray a millionaire life and the fantastic lifestyle and things things like that the example was when i changed rooms when i moved rooms um and this room had to be decluttered and stuff i showed what i lived in i live in one room it's got one bathroom and i showed you know what i was going through all my dvds and blu-rays getting rid of i showed you what my room was like and it was scary showing you that uh, but I did it. Now it's minimalistic, you know, it's no DVDs, no Blu-rays, no clutter, you know, just the bookshelf that I decorate now and again. And I've got a wardrobe here and the desk and, yeah, and a few other little things, but nothing massively like it used to be. And I can understand not showing you that kind of stuff because you're scared that people will judge you. And I watch a lot of vloggers who show the mess, show things, and you know, the kitchen's been a mess, but they show you anyway. And the living room morning's a bit tidy, but they show you anyway. That to me is genuine. That to me, I'd watch that because that's relatable. That's not everyone's life. Life is spick and spam, crystal clear, you know. And that's the way that life should be portrayed because you got to, you know, yeah, you record several hours of the day to make a 15 minute video of course you're going to put in the best bits but there's no one putting in some of the bad bits as well you know no one in that you know what i mean but it's just the wall golden wall don't show the mess in the room don't do this don't do that yeah that's bullshit that's bullshit I talk about my mental health, I talk about my problems, I talk about that kind of stuff, as you know. And I'm not ashamed of it, I'm happy to, because people should talk about it more. 
and I'm a 53 year old bloke who shouldn't be on YouTube and should be doing other things but I love it I, I call myself a content creator not an influencer not a huge well I'm a YouTuber but a content creator sounds more natural to me because I'm creating content it's in the name influencer is just oh look at me buy this product blah 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 yeah you don't even endorse a product you just talk about it you know maybe the odd few do you know but good to them and even though people hate Shane Dawson for what he did you know he's playing the game but he's he's, he's doing it right he's shown his lifestyle he's shown that he's overweight he's shown that you know he's He's a slob or whatever kind of thing, you know what I mean? Nothing bad because he admits it. But that's why I watch him because it's it's you know, it's it's real life. <laughs> you know. Yeah, he, he plays a game, he, he uses his videos to get to promote his stuff, which is good because he's 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 not given a fake lifestyle. He's being genuine, you know. Yeah, he's rich, but he's got lots of subscribers, you know. So. But anyway, I don't know what are your views on influencers, YouTubers, and stuff like that. Do you? Sorry, I'm knocking the microphone all the time. Do you watch many of these people? Do you have Instagram? Follow lots of influencers. Do they influence you to buy stuff? Do they influence you to do things um, you wouldn't normally do? You know, I don't buy merch off anyone. I don't create merch, but I want to. But I wouldn't buy it off anyone because um, unless I trusted the person fully, you know, and they were genuine. So, yeah, I don't know. What are your views? Anyway, that's just a quick video. And, uh, yeah, see what else I can come up with. Because... Now that <clears throat> I'm actually gained my own voice, <laughs> which I haven't had for years because, well, not in that kind of sense, mental health and anxiety, um, I used to let people walk all over me all the time. I never used to speak out and defend myself. And I'm starting to do that more now. And it's given me the uh, boost on YouTube that I can actually talk about things without questioning, thinking, should I talk about it or not? Yeah, I'm not going to break the guidelines, but you're going to see more of this in 2023. More of my views on things, and I'm not afraid to say stuff, you know. Um, that's, I think, what 2023 is going to be about on my channel, on this channel. And the vlog channel is going to keep, keep going, but you'll see more of this. Um, have a coffee with Darren, or coffee in the chat, I'll call it, yeah, I've called it. And uh, just... See what he's going to talk about next. <laughs> if it, this is interest to you, please hit that subscribe, hit the like, comment, and share. <clears throat> share on the community tab. Now everyone's got the community tab. Share it with your friends who might like it, who might not. I don't know. And I shall see you in the next one. Doodle pips. Don't forget if you're listening to this on podcast, check the video out. <laughs>